Hey everyone, how's everybody doing today? So today I'm going to talk about five things I absolutely love about living on Lake Lanier and five things that I don't like so much about living on Lake Lanier. And we're going to get started right now. Everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Frida Kalina with EXP Realty and Lake Lanier Homes and Living. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you might think about it because I post some really cool stuff here about real estate, Lake Lanier, and local information. So I've had a lot of people asking me what the pros and cons are regarding living on Lake Lanier. And that's what I'm going to be discussing today. I'm going to tell you what the five things I love and the five things I don't like so much about living on Lake Lanier. And we're gonna get started with the things I'm not so crazy about. Number one I really don't like is the heat. It gets extremely hot in the summertime here in Georgia. And um, most houses have air conditioning in them, thank goodness, but sometimes you have to wait till in the evening to come out to get on your boat or go somewhere because it's really hot. And if you have a boat that has a cabin, you may want to have air conditioning in that. So number two is the bugs. The bugs are really bad in the summer in Georgia and especially around the lake. If you live on the lake, you're going to have a lot of mosquitoes, you're going to have gnats, but I highly suggest you get your house sprayed by an exterminator inside and out on the patios and on your dock. And that really does help, otherwise they can become unbearable. Number three is the humidity here in Georgia. It's really bad during the summer. So you are going to be sweating like crazy, most of you. So most of the women put their hair up here in the summer and because otherwise our hair is gonna be really frizzy, but it's okay. All the other good stuff about it, you can deal with it. Number four is every once in a while we will have a drought. And when you have a drought, a lot of the people that live on the lake in coats, tiny little coats, their dock ends up being on just dirt. Now, I don't ever have that problem because as you can see, I'm on open water, so that doesn't happen. But still, it's a pain having to, you know, put, keep letting your dock out further and further into the water. So, if you're thinking about buying on the lake, make sure you pay attention to that and where you're at. Okay, so the last thing that I dislike about living in the area, I guess, would be um, the traffic. Now, it's not so bad where I live because I live on the north side of the lake, but if you're having to go to Atlanta, or if you're having to travel to Atlanta or you work there, traffic can be really bad. So you, you have to allow a lot of extra time so you won't be late, you got a job, or if you don't have to work in Atlanta, probably that's even better. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the five things I love about living on Lake Lanier. There's more, but I'm just going to tell you the five things today. And it's the view and the peacefulness of the lake. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. But um, it also, we have beautiful sunsets and sunrises. Now, with my dock on the open water where I live, it gets a little choppy when, when boats, when we have a lot of boats out here, and there will be a lot of boats on the weekends, it gets, I really, my dock starts rocking back and forth. Um, but I'm, I'm still glad that I'm at this location, and you're, if you're in a cove, you're not going to have all the roughness sometimes that I do. Number three is Lake Lanier Islands. I love going to this resort. It's spread out over several different islands on Lake Lanier. And it has camping, golfing, restaurants, and it also has Margaritaville. Now Margaritaville is a water park and it has beaches and different things for the kids to play on. And once a month, they also have a full moon party and entertainment. So I love going to Lake Lanier Islands and it is located on the south side of Lake Lanier. 
Number four would have to be all the parks that we have around Lake Lanier. I mean, we have like 45 parks and 10 campgrounds that are spread across the 700 miles of shoreline on Lake Lanier. And even though I have a dock, I love going to the parks where you have picnic tables, you have grills, sometimes you have um, a marina, sometimes you have a playground, and a lot of people will bring their dogs and walk them at all these wonderful parks. Um, sometimes I will bring Felon, my dog, but he's a handful, so that's only on the days that I feel like I have a lot of energy. I love all the marinas on Lake Lanier. And some of you won't find a house that you like on the lake. So the next best thing is buy a house close to the lake and put your boat in one of the marinas. And what I love about the marinas is so many people get together for different holidays and they cook out, they go on boat rides together, they'll tie up in a cove. And before I lived on the lake, I did that a lot and I really enjoyed that also. Well, that's it for my tips today. The things I love about Lake Lanier and the things I don't love so much. So, if you like this video, I would love for you to subscribe. I post new videos every week, every Thursday actually, on Lake Lanier Real Estate and local information. Thank you and have a wonderful day.